What's up, nerds? So I just watched the Loki season two finale. And I want to be honest with you. I don't think this was the best ending for Loki. I, I, I don't I don't see how Loki can come back to the MCU, let alone a season three uh, because of this ending. Um, and and I didn't like it. Um, it was it was it was a little boring. It was a little boring. So, all right, let me get into my breakdown, and then I'll 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 fill you in on my thoughts during it, and then afterwards. All right, here we go. Loki attempts to avert the temporal loom's destruction. Each attempt ends in failure, no matter how far back in the time he goes. Yeah, him going back in time, that whole thing. I mean, like. This is the thing. We've seen it done before in other stuff. So this was nothing new, but it wasn't even done like in a like I just thought it was really boring, like watching him go back in time every single time. And I'm just like, I don't care. So, I mean, it was yeah, it was just it was very boring, very boring. It is only when Loki himself learns the specifics behind the technology of the throughput multiplier that timely succeeds. I did think it was fun when, uh, you know, he was he was doing everything and everybody he was answering everybody's questions before they asked it. And he was like saying the lines that they would say before it was like jinx and everything. But um, yeah. However, the loom fails to stabilize as the infinite amount of branches make it mathematically impossible. So when it failed, I was all like, okay, where are we going to go from here? Because I'm just like, I don't under, I just don't like see where this show is going. And I just, again, it was so boring that I just didn't care. Realizing there is nothing he can do in the present to stop it, Loki time slips back to the moment Sylvie kills He Who Remains. So I did think that it was kind of interesting and good on He Who Remains that he like set up this failsafe like, hey, you kill me. And you're going to have to come back and, and not kill me because if you do, um, then, you know, I, I create this temporal loom and then it gets and then the temporal loom just gets destroyed and or destroys the timeline and everything. So you got to come back and let me not die. I thought that was a, a good a good fail safe on He Who Remains. He tells Loki that the temporal loom is a failsafe protecting the sacred timeline, and the only way to prevent its destruction is to kill Sylvie, who is adamant about replacing it with something better. I'm not going to lie. When he said you have to kill Sylvie, I was like, yeah, kill her. Kill her now. Don't hesitate. Kill her. Kill Jab, jab, jab in her. Do not stop. Kill her. I was like, ah, she's so useless. I hate Sylvie. What a horrible character. Sipping back to the present, Loki tells Sylvie and Mobius that he knows the kind of god he wants to be. So I, I do like Tom Hiddleston. Like, he he does a good job acting-wise, and I love his facial expression uh, when he's all like, I know what god I will have to be and everything. Yeah, I was just, when, when that happened, I was just like, um, I don't think I don't think this is how Loki's powers work. He destroys the temporal loom and realizes that he can revive the dead time branches with his magic. So he destroys the temporal loom and he's like grabbing all these these timelines with his hands and making them green and shit. And again, the whole time I'm just like, I don't think this is how Loki's god powers work. Like, I'm, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I, if this happened in the anything like this happened in the comic books, I don't remember it. I mean. But he's he's just the god of lies. So I'm all like, he's like doing telekinesis and stuff. And I'm all like, uh, I mean, maybe, I don't know. But at the same time, I'm like, like I literally was just like, can we wrap this up? Because daddy, I've got stuff to do today. Shedding his TVA identity, Loki rearranges the branches into a tree and takes his place at the end of time as the god of stories. The TVA returns to normal as Mobius leaves to visit his original timeline. I did. I don't know. I did like I like seeing Mobius as a dad, but I mean, like, so and um, and I, I just like the TVA. I just want to be all like, why are you still here? Like, I, I'm, I'm confused now what your job is at the TVA while Loki looks on from his throne. And then that's the end of it, you guys. I mean, Loki's just sitting on that throne that he created with his little horn uh, bandana. And he's just holding on to some tree vines <laughs> and everything. And like, I'm just like the whole time. I'm just like, this is just so weird and like such a horrible ending to this character. I like Tom Hiddleston. I like his Loki, although I wish he was just a bad guy, just straight up bad guy. But 
th- th- this was just not a good ending for him. Um, but I'm like, I, you know, this is what they chose. And I just, I, at the same time, I literally do not care. I don't care anymore. It's just bad, you know? Um, so let me just talk about the, the main T the main characters or whatever, because like, for instance, okay. So Mobius, uh, he told this story about, he's all like in the thing. And I want Mobius, I'll talk about him first. Um, I love this character because I love, I love Wilson's uh, Owen Wilson's portrayal of this character. I think he's just such a great job, but the scene where he talks about two hunters, they go on the field and they've got to kill one, uh, eight year old boy because he, kills 500 people in the timeline or whatever so they have to prune him and mobius and Renslayer are the two hunters and mobius he pauses for a minute to not kill any eight-year-old boy but rents and when he does it it messes everything up but Renslayer, oh she does not hesitate in any way shape or form because she's just so boss babe that that she can just do it and she doesn't need to worry about it and I thought that that was really just so like stupid. Um, I I didn't like it. Uh, and I wish uh, you know I wish they would stop doing this thing where they they just they make men like these weak creatures and the women are just so amazing. Um, it's just really obnoxious and annoying. So I mean you know, but uh, yeah, Mobius. I did I did like seeing him with uh kids and just seeing that whole aspect of it where he came from. But other than that, I mean, like, you know, Mobius was just very like paint by the numbers kind of character, just your your kind of goofy sidekick, but not too goofy because that would be really weird. And I don't know. I just um, I, I did like this character, but at the same time, it's like whatever. Uh, Renslayer, she got her comeuppance, it looks like, because she got sent in that that area with the smoke monster from Lost that eats everything. It's like a garbage disposal, but like the smoke monster garbage disposal. So uh, he, so, I mean, like that was kind of fun, you know, that she got her comeuppance. Uh, but at the same time, I don't care about this character. Like, uh, like this character can, can suck a D for all I care. Um, yeah. Uh, what, what is she, uh, you know, agent 15 or what agent five or whatever, the black lady, the big black lady. Um, I mean, she, you know, uh, is like, I don't know, helping lead the TVA again, this character, I didn't dislike her, but I just felt like, you know, when she was a hunter, she was fine. But when she was not a hunter, I'm like, I don't care about this chick. Um, and I didn't care about her at the end. I'm just like, I literally just don't care about most of these characters. Sylvie is still alive. Hate her. Um, I wanted her to die at the end of this. I just don't see the use of having her around anymore. Like, she's just a useless character. And she's a total bitch. So, um, yeah, they can get rid of her any day now. That's fine. Um, oh, OB, what a waste of KY Kwan. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I like seeing him on the, the screen. But, I mean... This you have KY Kwan and you're not gonna like use this to the fullest and do something cool with him. I didn't understand that at all. Like I was just like, whatever. That Casey guy, I'm just like, you should just be happy you're here that somebody pulled you out of obscurity and made you a part of the the main crew. Just just count your lucky your blessings, fucker. Because uh, I don't even I barely know who you are. Um, and then i think i'm not i don't think i'm missing anybody but and then loki i just really like really feel like this was a poor choice of an ending for this character and like i said before i don't know what they could do with him to bring him back if he leaves that little throne who watches the timeline tree you know i i just really didn't like it um i don't like this show i have i literally think that every marvel show except for hawkeye i like hawkeye except for the finale uh i well, the finale was okay but i anyways but most of the shows i either like one or two episodes and the rest can suck it i i just don't like it these shows are terrible and um yeah i just don't know i don't know you guys i i, I don't know but uh that's my review of this finale i'll try to do a season review but i don't think i'm gonna have time you guys sorry i i like spending time with my family <laughs> But uh, tell me what you guys thought about this. Did you like this ending? Did you not like this ending? Do you see any way, any path forward for Loki in the MCU? I, I mean, except for sitting on that throne, I don't see it. You know, he'll be like Red Skull that showed up in Endgame and Infinity War, you know, stuck on that stupid planet, you know. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I just don't see it happening. You know, I just don't see it happening.
All right, you guys. Well, tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, who was your favorite character throughout this season? And uh, how did you feel about this whole time thing? Uh, but tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next um, review. You guys have a good week. Bye.